theorem statement suppose a is a function such that such that f is continuous on closed and bounded interval bounded interval a b f is a differentiable number 2 f is differentiable well on open interval a b and number 3 f of a equal to f of b then there exists a point there exists at least one point there exists at least not a point at least one point C belongs to A B such that such that F dash C equal to zero. So now to prove this now proof. So what is given? Given F is first F is continuous on open in closed bounded interval a b f is differentiable differentiable on open interval a b and number three f of a is equal to f of b then what our claim is there exists a point at this one point c belongs to a b such that f dash c equal to 0 now uh, uh, now since f is continuous on continuous on closed bounded interval a b implies f is bounded on closed bounded interval a b this implies Yep attains its maximum yep attains its maximum and minimum minimum in the int on the interval a b suppose uh, if you take here say this is the function say a b okay here is the a and it is the b and since it is a uh, uh, it is what a continuous function so this is what a maximum point and this is what a minimum point so say say maximum value is equal to say maximum is equal to maximum is equal to m and for minimum capital m and for minimum say small m for minimum minimum this is what capital m capital m now case first case first if m capital m is equal to m that is if maximum is equal to minimum then f is a constant function f is a constant function function and we know that for constant function derivative is what suppose if f of x is equal to say 3 then f dash x is equal to what 0 then this implies there exists or for every point uh, there exists uh, c belongs to a b such that f dash c is equal to 0 okay if it is a constant function for every point in a b f dash c is equal to 0 so case 2 now if m is not equal to capital m is not equal to small m then in that case this implies there is a, 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 then one of the bound one from this what we can say that uh, one of the bound one of the bound one of the bounds 
m or small m different from different uh, from f of a or f of b a uh, f of a and uh, say f of a and a f of b okay so one of one at either m is different from f of a f of b or small m is different from f of a f of b for uh, let us assume assume here m is not equal to f of a or f of b so this implies there exist since f is a continuous there exist a c belongs to a b such that f of c is equal to m why why such a c exists because f is continuous f is what continuous so now since f is a differentiable what is given you can check here what is given f is a differentiable on a b so this implies f is also differentiable on c and this implies f dash c exist but we know that if derivative exists means what f dash c is same as its uh, left hand derivative sorry f dash right left, right hand derivative is same as left hand derivative okay if derivative exist now since uh, m is a maximum value m is what maximum uh, m is what a maximum value uh, and therefore there exist and c belongs to ab so if now since f of x is less than f of c if x less than or equal to c okay and uh, this implies f of x minus f of c because m is a maximum value uh, x minus c is less than or equal to what it is less than or equal to uh, uh, x minus c since f of x minus f of c is less than zero i am writing here f of x minus f of c is less than zero and x minus c is less than zero and therefore f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c is greater than or equal to zero so this is what not less than it is what greater than or equal to zero and and f of x for if x less than c if x less than c then f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c is less than or equal to 0 if x is greater than or equal to c okay because uh, since m is what a maximum value so f of x minus f of c is less than or equal to 0 if uh, uh, this is maximum means what what is the mean by maximum means what this is what a large all the point in the interval a b so i am writing here suppose um, okay so uh, f of I mean, m is a maximum means f of x is less than or equal to m for every x belongs to a b for every uh, x belongs to a b so if x less than c then f of x is also less than or equal to f of c okay and for x greater than or equal to c f of x is also less than or equal to f of c but for x less than c x minus c is less than zero and for x greater than c x minus c is greater than or equal to zero so if you take the limit as x tends to c if you take the limit as x tends to c plus of f of x minus f of c divided by divided by f of x minus f x minus c okay if you take this as a um, uh, x tends to uh, what is x tends to c minus not plus since we are going to approach x less than c x less than minus c left hand derivative here okay which is same as limit x tends to c plus of f of x minus f of c upon x minus c why because f dash c exists but what this implies this implies f dash c is equal to what zero this implies f dash c is equal to what zero because left hand derivative and right hand derivative is equal and this derivative both derivative are equal only if if this de value of derivative is equal to what zero so f dash c is equal to zero what the geometrically uh, geometrical interpretation here geometrical interpretation <coughs> this 
station. Say, <coughs> say here. So this is the. Okay. So this is the point. Say A. Changing the color. This is the color. Say A. This is what A. And here is the. I'm writing. Here is the same height. These these two points are present on same height. So this is the point. Say B. Okay, B. So this is the point A B F of B and A F of A. This point is what A F of A. This is the point. Then and there if there is a tangent at every point in this uh, interval A to B, okay, and if it is a continuous and if the there exists a tangent for every point, okay, uh, in this interval, then. Uh, then, uh, then there exists a two point. So you can see here. So this is what uh, this tangent is parallel to. Uh, there exists a point such so that tangent is parallel to what x-axis. This is what a maximum point, maximum point, and this is what minimum point. So there exists a tangent such so that uh, tangent is parallel to what x-axis. So hope you understood. This this is the uh, this case is very important. Case number two. I am explaining it again. Case number two. I am writing here one more time. What is case number two? Case number one is very obvious, but in case number two, case number two, if m is not equal to m, so what this implies m is not equal to m. This implies at least one of the bound. One of the bound. of the bounds is different from is different from or different from f of a and f of b f of a and f of b otherwise otherwise again we get a constant function if m is also f of a f of a or capital m is also f of a then again we get a constant function and it is a case number 1 so say m is not equal to that is maximum is not equal to f of a or f of b so this implies there exist here we assume assume so there exists since f is a continuous there exists c belongs to ab such that f of c is equal to m f of c is equal to what m now since m since since m is a maximum m is maximum implies f of x is less than or equal to f of c for every x belongs to ab since it is a maximum now there are two cases either our x is less than c or greater than c now if x less than or equal to c then then f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c greater than or equal to 0 and if x greater than or equal to c Then in that case, f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c is less than zero. So here, now since f dash c exists, why f dash c exist? Exist means what? F dash c. This implies f dash c is equal to f uh, f dash uh, right hand derivative and f dash left hand derivative. Okay. So if we take limit x tends to c plus, if we take limit x tends to C plus uh, okay, uh, x tends to means what x approaching C from right hand side, f of x minus f of C upon x minus C. Okay, if we take the uh, right hand derivative, then this is what it is what uh, C plus then it is what less than or equal to zero for this case. It is what less than or equal to zero, and limit x tends to C minus f of x minus f of C. Divided by x minus c is what less than or equal to zero. So means what here x approaching. There are two cases. Here is the uh, c. Say the, this is the c, and so you have a two path. If you approach a c from this side, then it is called uh, uh, it's called a right hand uh, limit. And if you approach c from this, then it is called left hand limit. Here x less than or equal to c, and here x greater than or equal to c for this part. 
okay and for this part x is less than or equal to c so this is what if x less than or equal to c we write it is le uh, negative limit okay x less than or equal to c then uh, okay x less than or equal to c negative for negative limit it is greater than or equal to zero sorry this is what less uh, this is what greater than or equal to zero so this is what greater than or equal to zero and therefore now since derivative exists means what here f dash c plus is same as f dash c minus and therefore f dash c is equal to this is possible only if it is what zero at only zero these two limits are equal and therefore hence the theorem